The Shadow of Fu Manchu. Based on the stories by Sax Roma. located the headquarters of Fu Manchu, so with the help of Karame, Naylon Smith, Dr. Petrie, and Inspector Weymouth, surround the place with police and enter. They discover Fu Manchu, apparently helpless in drugged sleep. In attempting his capture, a trap opens beneath their feet, plunging them into the cellar below. Bound hand and foot, they watch from the protection of a glass chamber as police break into the outer cellar and are strangled by the poisonous vapors from huge fungus-like growths covering floor and ceiling. Smith breaks his bonds and attacks Dr. Fu. But overpowered, Smith is forced from the glass room into the poisonous vapors of the cellar. As he gropes blindly along a dim wall, fighting for breath, a small opening suddenly appears before him. (coughs) Mrs. Smith! Uh, quickly. Uh, Caramel. Where? Here. Give me your hand. Oh, thank heaven. One moment. Oh. I must close this panel. Oh. Now, quickly. Oh, those horrible poisonous things. You must get them off your clothes. Here, let me help you. Oh. Oh, yes. I was close. Desperately close, Caramel. I owe you my life. How did you know? Oh, you fell through the trap. I overheard Dr. Fu Manchu's oh. instructions too loud. Oh. I came down here and watched through that small glass panel in the door. I, I saw everything. Oh. Those men, the police. They are beyond help. They died horribly. Oh. Oh, but come. We must leave this place at once. Petrie, Weymouth. We can do nothing alone. We must get the police. Come, down this passage. Fu Manchu will not put Dr. Petrie and Inspector Weymouth into that cell. Oh. How do you know that? What will he do with them? He intends for Dr. Petrie to accompany him to China. And Weymouth? He will be forced to disclose the plans of Scotland Yard with regard to Fu Manchu. But he can't leave here. The place is surrounded by police. The police. Always you and Dr. Petrie speak of the police. You should know how little Fu Manchu fears them. Yes, but but now, where are we going? I can't leave this house until Petrie is... Oh, wow. Listen. All right. Quickly. We cannot go that way. He is coming. I'll take my chances with him. Oh, Lal is always with him. Come, we must go back. Hurry. Can we get out this way? Yes, by the river. It is the one way for him to escape. One path unknown to the police. Here, into this side tunnel. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Here's the door. Yes, that is it. It opened onto an outer stairway. Now, down the stairs, quickly, to that small landing stage. 
We are trapped, Caramay. There's no way we can leave this pier. It is his private landing place. Only those closely connected with him know of it. It is under the old commercial dock. Oh. There, at the end of the stage, his launch. We must hide there. Right. It'll be the last place he'd expect to find us. Another launch. Quickly. It is our only chance. By Jove. Concealed completely from the river. Oh, if I'd only thought of this. Here. Hide in this aft cockpit. Shh. Someone is coming. Now, take this gun. Quiet. We're safer here than anywhere else. He wouldn't dream of our being on this boat. So loud. Place the doctor there beside the inspector. Fasten them to that deck Great Scott, it's Fu Manchu. Weymouth is on this boat. And now, Petrie, where is he taking them, Caramay? There is only one place. His yacht. Where is it? How can he locate it in this fog? It lies somewhere at sea, off the mouth of the river. Lyle knows and will find it. Now, take the helm, Lyle. Lay your port for the yacht. It's all right. The fog will cover our retreat, but watch closely for police launches. And now, gentlemen, I shall remove your gag. But first, let me warn you, one cry for help, should we encounter a police launch, will mean worse than death for both of you. I hope you will be discreet. And now, the gag. <coughs> Dr. Fu, if it's the last act of my life, I swear to kill you with my own hands. Nayland Smith was my friend. His death, so a bit premature, was necessary, Dr. Petrie. Ah. He has disrupted my plans in England for the present. As for your threat against me, do not attempt it, Dr. Petrie. You will be the loser. Master! Alarms! Coming to others in the fog! Shut off your motor. Let it pass. Great Scott. The police launch, Caramay. That's Mackay. I'm going to warn him. Oh, no. No, not yet. Let them come closer. Go on running, aren't you fools? You want to be run down in this fog? Away, Lyle. Lose them in the fog, quickly. All the hard there. These two. We're coming aboard to look you over. Fool is running away, Caramay. Ahoy, Mackay! This way, man! It's Fu Manchu! They... Come on, Mackay! Run him down! Oh, Peter, Off to that rock! Dr. Fu, order your servant to turn back or I'll drop you where you stand. Oh, Mr. Nayland Smith. I surely have underestimated your abilities, my friend. But do not be rash. I have in my hands a needle charged with a rare culture. A touch of its point. And Dr. Petrie becomes a raving maniac. Now, throw that pistol into the water. No, I'll kill you first. Oh, do as you ask, Mr. Smith, please. It means Dr. Petrie's life. Oh, very well. But soon there'll be a reckoning, Fu Manchu. There, it's done. A wise action, Mr. Smith. And tell me, the party is complete as I at first planned. Ah, oh, my child, you were not clever in rescuing Mr. Smith from my cellar. His, uh, demise has only been postponed a little. You can't escape, Fu Manchu. The river's crowded with police launches. We have escaped, Mr. Smith. Presently, we will be at sea aboard my yacht and on our way to the Orient. That is, Dr. Petrie, Caramy, and I. Dr. Petrie shall be my honored guest. Together, we will revolutionize chemistry. If I live, Fu Manchu, I'll never assist you in your infamous experiments. And, Mr. Smith, I fear you know more of my plans than is good for you. I must learn if you have a confidant aside from Dr. Petrie. Where your memory fails and my files and wire jackets prove ineffectual, Inspector Weymouth's recollections may prove more accurate. Loud. More speed. Do you hear me, Lyle? Caramay, my pocket knife, take it. You're closer to Weymouth. Cut his cords. I'll keep his attention from you. You know very well, Fu Manchu, that I have no confidant. Not even Petrie knows my plans. Perhaps not. Yes, we shall make assurance. Doubly sure presently. Inspector Weymouth is free. Meanwhile, Caramay, come here, my child. No, I... Come. I... Go, Caramay. Weymouth and I'll take care of him presently. What... What do you wish, Master? Tell me, Caramay. What have you done with Ali? Ali is where you never again lay hands on him, Fu Manchu. 
The poison on that needle, Dr. Petre, works quickly and efficiently. You have appeared to display an undue interest in my carame. You can never devote your entire mind to those studies which I have planned for you while such distractions exist. The girl means nothing to me. Leave her alone. Ah, but you, Dr. Petrie, mean much to her. And she is no longer useful to me since she has decided to work against me. In the East, there is a saying, before casting aside a tool no longer useful, it should be destroyed. Karame, where is Ali? Wait. Whatever Karame has done, she was forced to do. She's not to blame. Her brother is safe now in the hands of the police. Well, you'll be four men, two before one. Uh, uh, Watch out for that needle, Raymond. Behind you, Nayland. Go in. Karame, cut Petrie's bonds, quickly. Hurry, Karame, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Inspector Weymouth has it. Untie the knot. I've got to help Weymouth. And they love this. He can handle that voice. Even if he has a knife. Hurry, girl. Oh, but the knots are, are so tight. Oh, I showed the strength of that fiend. He's forcing Weymouth toward the rail. Oh, this rope, Dr. Peter. Hurry, Jeremy, hurry. Ah, oh, good girl. Now my ankles. Quick. He's... He's dragging Weymouth over the rail. Hang on, Weymouth. The Jack Lloyd Nalen. Jump overboard when he lost his knife. Grab Weymouth. I'll take for my two. Not yet, Nalen Smith. I go. And Inspector Weymouth goes with me. He's dragged Weymouth over. They've got him. Take the wheel, Petrie. Swing the launch round quickly. Academy. Find the light switches. Yes. That searchlight on the bow. We'll never find them in this fog. The launch has been running wild since the Dakoid left the wheel. We must find them. They can't be far. Cut your speed and cruise back and forth. Carame, the light! But they, they do not work. Lowell must have destroyed them. Great Scott, no light. I can't cut the speed. The throttle's jammed fast. And this blasted fog. Where in heaven's name are we? We can't be at sea. There's no swell. I'll keep circling around. Perhaps if Weymouth's alive, we'll... Good heavens, that laughter! Fu Manchu! No. No, Dr. Peter. Not Fu Manchu. It is Inspector Weymouth. Wait. The poison needle? Yes. Oh, then heaven help poor Weymouth. Shadow of Fu Manchu. 